start with the great stuff. This might be the best hardware that BlackBerry has ever put to market. It starts with a lovely 5.4 inch curved AMOLED display. The pixels melt away and you can tweak the color settings to your liking. The Snapdragon 808 processor and 3 gigs of RAM usually keep things moving at a steady clip and there's expandable storage here too. BlackBerry put a really grippy material on the back that makes this big phone surprisingly easy to hold, even with the keyboard open. The battery is huge and it usually gets me through the day. But you want a BlackBerry for the keyboard, and so the screen slides up to reveal one. And BlackBerry managed to do it without making the phone feel thick or even awkward when it's open. The keyboard also has some neat extra features. You can slide your finger on it to scroll, you can double tap to move the cursor around, and there are handy shortcuts in some apps. You can swipe up to autocomplete words, swipe down to get a big list of symbols. It's almost like the perfect melding of classic BlackBerry and modern. The camera actually takes pretty good photos, even in low light but it's just embarrassingly slow, and that's not okay anymore. This thing is called the Priv, which is short for privacy, and BlackBerry nails that. It's better than your average Android phone at helping you know that it's secure. That's thanks to a little piece of auditing software called DTEC. BlackBerry's security and privacy tools seem really smart. The Priv is supposed to be the phone that gives me permission to come back, to participate in the big world of apps and Android while keeping all that BlackBerry stuff. That's a good start. It's the right start. And I really do love a lot of the things that BlackBerry is trying to do here. Opinion that iPhone can kick rocks. The BlackBerry actually.